Well, I don't really think it's a split between scientists and engineers. I think it's a question now of the priorities or goals for NASA in the manned space area. The first goal clearly had to be to develop the engineering, to develop the means of getting into space, and that goal's been accomplished in a very spectacular way. And now as we look at the future of Apollo and the future of the whole manned flight effort, I think we have to be thinking about why is man going into space? What's the purpose of his going into space? And to focus on what he's going to do when he gets there. So I think we've come to a point in time we have to seriously talk about uh, reordering the priorities for the manned flight program. And I think that's the issue rather than a split between scientists and engineers. Well, looking at it from outside, as you will now be able to, what would you like to see in the way of an order of priorities? Well, I think clearly the first priority for the manned flight program and for NASA at this time is to continue with the Apollo program, but to put the money and effort into the Apollo spacecraft to make it suitable for exploration. It need, its payload capability needs to be augmented. Uh, the astronauts should be able to spend more time on the lunar surface uh, so they can accomplish something once they've gotten there. And they need to be supported by uh, better suits, uh, better life support equipment so they can stay out longer on the surface and they can get around it more easily. They need to have a little vehicle, for example, that can allow them to have a large radius of operation. And they need to support, be supported with a variety of instruments to make their time efficient and their tasks efficient on the lunar surface. Let me ask you this. In view of the immense costs of a manned program as opposed to an unmanned program, do you feel that the manned program has been justified by the Apollo results to date? Well, if we, if we were going to cut off the Apollo program at this time and not go on with it, then clearly we couldn't justify having sent a man to the moon from the scientific results that have been brought back because those results could have been obtained by unmanned spacecraft at much smaller cost and perhaps at an earlier date. So we can only look upon the accomplishments of Apollo to date as being an achievement in, in technology and in getting man into space. And now we really have to go on and use it in order to make it worthwhile. 